One of the um, subdivisions in this exhibition is portraiture. Um, that tended to be a topic that artists from the beginning of time have returned to, and that's true for Midwestern artists as well. Um, and here we have two of many examples um, in the gallery. One is Grant Wood's Woman with Plants, um, and the other is Louis Pisek's um, King of Iowa. Um, in Grant Wood's piece, uh, here's an image of his mother, who uh, uh, really takes on sort of the, the guise of, of the Queen of Iowa, if you will. Um, he is bringing to his uh, uh, work his experience of seeing European painting, especially Northern Netherlandish painting, uh, up close and personal. Um, he has a very meticulous uh, brush stroke here, and he places her up close, holding an attribute, in this case a plant, uh, against the Iowa landscape. Um, here, uh, many years later, uh, in this work dating from 2001, um, Louis Pisek is showing a new uh, uh, Iowan for us. Here, the king of Iowa um, in his bib overalls um, with his uh, uh, patterned shirt uh, with little uh, corn cobs on it, wearing an Iowa cap, talking on a cell phone um, out in the field um, that has various animals in it, sitting on a bale of hay. And here, written in the sky, is the King of Iowa, which gives the piece its, its uh, uh, title. In both of these, you do have a sense of pattern present. In Grant Wood's work, you have um, that wonderful little rickrack around um, his uh, mother's sort of apron. Uh, form there, and he was very interested in pattern. That was something that was uh, uh, seen very clearly in these European uh, uh, models that he was looking at. Here you see that same sort of interest in pattern, uh, both in the shirt and the way in which the tree is articulated, the fields are articulated, the frame itself is patterned um, that way. I mean, in both cases you have a figure against the ground, in both cases the head arises above the ground. It's very clear in Grant Wood's piece. Here the ground dips down um, so that the male figure here, head, is silhouetted uh, against the sky. Uh, many interesting devices used in both of these portraits um, which, whose you know, individual styles could not be further apart. On the right we have a basket-like form by the artist Mary Merkel Hess. Um, it is completely made out of paper and uh, we have included this in a section dedicated to the landscape, um, which is a popular theme um, in uh, the art produced in the Midwest. Um, this is one of her larger uh, basket forms. Uh, it is open, technically open on the top, um, but what really is striking about this particular piece is the way in, re in which it looks like plant forms, um, where you have that sort of reed-like body that, that crests into some sort of plumage at the, at the top. Um, it looks uh, very much like things growing in the landscape or some of the, um, the switch grasses that grow um, uh, along the roadside. Um, along with that, um, this sort of repeated pattern, these kinds of repeating parallel uh, but natural lines, uh, very similar or very uh, 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 evocative of the furrows um, that one finds uh, in many of the, uh, many of the area farms. Uh, where you, uh, where these types of, of plant forms grow out of. So it has this double um, level of interpretation. Uh, she, her, most of her work de is out of paper, um, and most people are really quite surprised when they see this work. On the left, then, is a, a painting by Roger Brown, um, who was uh, a Chicago-based artist. Um, and this is one of the works that he did that was sort of dedicated to um, the farm scene. Um, his work it kind of grows out of the pop art movement, um, which is characterized by a lot of sort of hard edges um, and looking to popular advertising, and you get a sense of that uh, in this composition. Um, but uh, very unique to him is the way in which he's represented the furrows of this farm um, with this very repeated uh, stripe-like pattern, uh, which is then mimicked again in the uh, the clouds that hang overhead, the dark clouds that loom um, over uh, the entire scene. Um, that same sort of repeated pattern of, of natural but fairly parallel lines, um, a scene that's very popular um, in the American heartland.